Good afternoon, I'm David Beata, the CEO here at Beata Home Healthcare. Today is Wednesday, April 8th, and this is your CEO daily update amidst the coronavirus pandemic. Today, we're gonna to talk about the hottest topic we have, which is personal protective equipment. Uh, this is an issue that has created an amazing amount of challenge for us as an organization and across the industry. Really, things are changing every day. We're trying to find supplies, and we're also trying to adapt to the escalating need for those supplies in the various communities we serve. And so we're trying to keep our policies and our processes changing as quickly as possible to stay up to date, to keep you all safe, keep our clients safe, but also not change too fast to make it so confusing that you can't keep up with what our current standard or policy is. And so today I wanted to introduce the next evolution with Nora Triola, our chief clinical officer of our approach to PPE standards and how we're communicating these standards going forward to you all, particularly out in the field so that you can see in clear terms, what's our standard in the current moment. And then we can clearly communicate changes to those standards, whether it's every few days or every week, if necessary, um, as things evolve. And so go, ho go ahead and uh, turn it over to Nora but not until I, I express gratitude for your patience. I think this is really hard for you and for all of us. And I know many of you are really anxious about making sure you have the supplies you need to keep yourself and your clients safe. And it's critically and fundamentally important to all of us that we do everything we can to, to make that possible. And uh, we're, we're, we're working like crazy to do that. Your feedback's really important. And today's evolution of our continued work on this issue is really a byproduct and of your, of your feedback and your sharing of things you feel like you need and that we need to be doing better or different. Nora? Great, David, thank you so much. And it's a pleasure to be with you all today again to talk about, as David said, is a very important subject. And that subject is our personal protective equipment that keeps both the clients and you safe. Um, this at a glance tool will really be helpful because we identify scenarios for you to reflect how you would then prepare yourself so that when you go into the environment, you're both uh, keeping yourself and your clients safe. You'll notice some important things on this. First and foremost, there's a date at the top. This is ever changing. We're basing our judgment on the evidence, we're also looking at what our supply inventory has and, and quite frankly, what your feedback is. You're in the front line, you're in the homes, you're giving us real time um, scenarios for, uh, for practice that help us modify the recommendations. And you'll see changes in the recommendations today based on what you told us. So first and foremost, there's a date on it. Pay attention to that date. That date will change as we release. This is a format that we think, uh, based on your feedback, might be easier. So give us, give us the heads up on whether it is. We'd like to use it consistently. You'll also see two really important things that, that I think are updates for you to pay attention to. And that's in the first line, category A, which is all our clients. Uh, there, there was um, new evidence from CDC, as well as certainly um, the clients we serve requesting that we use those face coverings or our, uh, what we identify as non-PPE uh, comfort masks. And so we are making the recommendation that as soon as you can get those available, you put those into practice. And as you see each client um, that is not uh, a COVID client, that uh, you wear those comfort masks in um, the homes you go and provide care. So that's a, a new change, again, based on your feedback, the evidence, and, and the CDC recommendation that these will um, help with any kind of ongoing infection that you might have and your potential to spread it. Again, it does not protect you. That's why you would wear the next level of equipment, which would be either your surgical mask or if it's a COVID positive or positive with symptoms, you would wear your N95. The other thing that we did on this important document for you is the last two, D and E. D and E speak to this, the household scenario. So when you go into the home, there are oftentimes other members of the household. And you had asked us a lot of questions about how do we be sure that they're doing the right thing, social distancing, and 
making sure they wear a mask. We feel uncomfortable um, and we're not sure we're, we're adequately protected. So we've taken those, um, those feedback and we've uh, modified our guidelines so that you will be wearing a surgical mask and uh, the appropriate equipment uh, when you are in a client's home and there are other household members. So pay attention to D and E because D and E are, are the scenarios and they tell you what you'll need when you go into those homes with household members that are either uh, asymptomatic or symptomatic. And, um, and you can see it's also got the nice pictures so you can make sure you, you really got the clear identification of whether you're talking about an N95, a surgical mask or a comfort mask. Because I know there's three different masks and it, it's you want to be sure you get the right one. So that's our new announcement today. And I think uh, it's a tool you'll get right in your email. It'll also be on the, the website so that you can get it. Your directors have it. Uh, we talked with them about it uh, this week so that they all are prepared to to have that tool ready and available for you to use. And again, let's go back to the comfort masks. I know you're, you're all wanting to make sure you have the, all the appropriate equipment. Get those comfort masks as you can. Remember that we've ordered them. They're, the directors have ordered them, so seek them out first. If they have them, that's great. If they don't, I posted, I think on Monday, a little handy tool that you could use to make one. Um, it, it probably takes five minutes, a little piece of cloth that you can cut in two rubber bands, and uh, you've got yourself a, a cloth uh, covering for your, your face. So um, helpful, hopefully that's helpful. We'll be sure to get a, a better one in your hands sooner uh, rather than later, but uh, that's the information today that we have to share that I think will help you stay safe and um, continue to do the ex exceptional job that you're doing every day taking care of the clients we serve. Great. Thanks, Nora. And thanks, everyone. Please ask questions if you have them and keep your eyes out for these continuously updating and evolving standards, We're doing our best to be uh, minding these in real time to ensure we keep you safe and keep our clients safe. We'll see you tomorrow.